Welcome to a brand new PlayStation exclusive, Rise of the Ronin. Very excited for this game. It's taken place during a pretty interesting time in Japan. An era, an era of Japan which hasn't been covered much in video games ever, really. So we're going to the mid-19th century during the Bakumatsu period, which I've pretty absolutely butchered. I want to say just a massive thank you to PlayStation for the review code. Obviously, this video would not be available right now without their help. So the video should be going live when the game is available in New Zealand. So it should be out uh, midnight wherever you live. I'm guessing this is going to be like a, a timed exclusive. Uh, it's hard to tell. I know PlayStation done a fair amount of work on the game as well with Team Ninja. I'm, I'm guessing it'll come out on other platforms at some point, <laughs> as most games are these days. But yeah, let's jump into a part one. Leave your likes and comments below if you guys want me to do more videos on the game. Leave your support. And let's, dump, let's jump in. I must admit, by the way, I feel like I've barely stopped playing my PS5. The, 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 the start of this year has been just incredible. Hello. A lot of people describe this particular era of, of Japan to be like the darkest. There was a sort of Western influence coming in. Lots of conflicts about how to deal with that. I think I've ever seen this before. Oh boy. So I think this, this is, what is this? Are we starting the game? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay, I was gonna say, Jesus. It's been a pretty interesting sort of period. So I got the code very, very early. Um, I did end up being a preview because I didn't have enough time. But the previews, everyone was just talking about the graphics. That's all I, that's all I heard about. At least on my, on my Twitter feed, anyway. Okay. Yeah, I feel like normally when it's a PlayStation exclusive, there's a lot of like very positive energy, particularly about the graphics. And this one's been a little bit different. And it's a different, it's not a, a first party game as such. It's also like a second party, I don't know. I find it all very, very confusing. What audio options do we have? We have English. Um, I'm guessing we can go, oh man, it's, it's always so tempting to go to Japanese. It does sound just so cool, but then I have to read all the subtitles. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, right, visuals, prioritize FPS, prioritize graphics, and ray tracing. So there is a ray tracing mode available. I just feel for a game like this, I probably want FPS. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's begin. Oh, okay, so we've got difficulty, we've got Dawn. For those who want to enjoy the story, you can change the difficulty setting after you start the game. Okay, great. For those who want to enjoy the action, you can change difficulty settings. Okay, and Twilight, which I guess is the hard mode. I'm gonna go for normal for now. I might even turn it down, honestly. <laughs> Centuries ago, Japan was unified under the Tokugawa Shogunate. It closed its doors to the rest of the world, and for a time, the island nation prospered. <laughs> Yet, despite its apparent tranquility, conflict brewed beneath the surface. Lords known as Daimyo were kept under strict surveillance. In public, they were loyal. But the coals of discontent were slowly being fanned towards conflagration. <laughs> Deep in the mountains of Kurosu, weapons were secretly forged in preparation for rebellion. But the 
Shogun's forces got wind of the plan and took terrible and bloody reprisals. skills in pairs called Blade Twins. Go! Separately, formidable. Together, unstoppable. Blade Twins are forever tied together by the bonds of fate. Oh boy. Okay. Let's begin with the base. By changing your body, you'll be deleting your current appearance. Okay, I haven't started an appearance yet. That's fine. So you got a male and a female. Um, how many presets we got? Seems to be a decent amount of customization. I like this dude. That'll be where we start, I think. Our different stances. I'm not, gonna I'm not gonna even begin to explain what stance that means. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, aging, be as young and as unwrinkled as possible. Be young with yourself. Teeth, mouth, ears. There's a decent amount of customization. Um, hairstyles, how many hairstyles we got? We have 58 hairstyles. Oh boy. <laughs> You can go as obscene as you like. What is that? Why would you ask for that at the hairdressers? <laughs> Shows exactly how it works. Oh, God. Yeah, there's a decent amount of options. Look at that. How? Oh, boy, mate, just give up. Just just cut it off. That's why I used to have it as a, as a kid. The famous bowl. <laughs> I quite like the hairstyle we got. It looks pretty decent. I like it. Yeah, I might just go for that. Again, there's tons of options. Oh, facial hair. Oh, so you can change the tip colors as well. How long do I want the tips to be? That is actually pretty impressive. You can edit the curl on this as well. Okay. Some decent customization. I don't really see like why everyone's so fixated on this game in terms of like graphics. I think it's just that pressure of being on as a, as, a, as like a PlayStation exclusive, it has to look the best. Once you can go for this beard, mm, that is suits though. Go for this one. I think they've done a pretty good job of making this guy look pretty cool. No makeup, body. How high do I want to be? Thank God he's covering his private region. Muscle mass. Markings, it's like sort of a... Uh... Oh, like tattoos and stuff. What is that? Like a burn? Wow. I'm guessing you can move these around as well. Yeah, customization's pretty good. I'm going for no toes. I'm going to be pure. Right, voice is pretty important. What have we got? Uh, play. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go for two, I reckon. Let's go. And then let's try and change the pitch. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Am I the only one not noticing much? <laughs> Let's go. He, he rocks it well. Yes. I am. Also, can we can we share this? Create and manage codes. Input codes. See, I think people can then like take my character, which is pretty cool. Game right. So if anyone wants my character, the character I've done nothing to, then there we go. Done. Right, I believe I'm ready. Can we confirm? Are we good to go? Finalize. Oh, is that the character? Create both? Oh, okay. I think all we do with this one, we keep the same hair color. Just gonna pick the hairstyle. I think that'd be it. Can I change it? So it's a bit, there we go. Actually see what I'm looking at. Very indecisive. I think that was quite cool. Yes, rocking it well, happy. Right, final last settings. Proceed with these characters. Yes. The famous duo. Setting up your veiled edges. As a smart swordsmith polishes a blade, so does a blacksmith sharpen the veiled edges in their charge. Choose a blade sharpening origin to determine the veiled edges, initial abilities, and special skills, as well as the weapon with which you excel, excel at. Okay, okay, I got it, I think. <laughs> So it's all about picking, I guess. <sighs> Don't want to go for beginner. Unsharpened. I can be like an absolute noob. What's a killer? Learn the way of the veiled edges. Pass through generations. Cut down those who stand in your way and strike fear into your enemies. Uh, repel arrows and bullets. See, that sounds good as well. So a special skill. I guess you can counter being shot at. Uh, rapid assassinations. Speech craft. And refill mid. Oh, that could be useful. Hmm. Let's go for killer. I'll go for strength. I'm sensitive by probably the breaker or killer. I'm gonna go for killer. Yes. I'm guessing these characters aren't always going to be together. I wasn't aware this game was a co-op. I guess you could have a companion. This is where we pick which character we're going to control. As much as I like the female character. Follow me. The Blade Twin. I realize I didn't really um, edit her voice. Oops. <laughs> Probably should have done that. Oh well. So how different does this game? Let's pause it here a second. How much better does it look? Oh, special skills. Ooh. Does it look with the different settings? So it'll be on the visuals, won't it? So this is Protaris in graphics. What are oh, man, you going to straight away. The 30 FPS. Oh, I don't know. I just can't. I struggle now with 30 FPS. I know it sounds really bad. And I wasn't that kind of person back in the day, but once you get used to it, it's it's really difficult. I'm guessing ray tracing might be worse. Yeah, there's no there's no two ways about it. It's definitely not the prettiest game ever. If you're looking for the bet the most prettiest game ever, this game might not be for you, but I don't think this is what the game's about, honestly. There's more to games than that. Katana. A poem. Spear. Paired sword. And Udachi. So we are particularly good with the Udachi and also the katana. Let's go for the katana first. You know, it's best sense. to go with something that suits you. Yeah, that's what I've done. Calm down. So no more attack. Uh, an advancing attack and a charge attack. Seems simple enough. And then charge. Ooh. Okay. Let's unlock. 
Udachi. Press R1 and up from the D-pad. Oh, it's a lot bigger, isn't it? Wow. It's a lot slower. Interesting. All right. Let's head out. You're happy with that, then? I am pretty happy. Yes, I am happy. So you could go back to the sharpening origins if you want to, if you're not happy with your selection. I'm guessing based on the weapons you want to use... Is the katana a little bit predictable, for example? You may want to go for a pole arm or a spear. It'd be quite fun. All right, let's go. But it's just, yeah, something cool about being a, a samurai with a katana. What's this press? Ooh. Unsleeve? Hello. You want to fight me? Whoa! I won't pull my pirates. There's a dodge as well. Do we have like a stamina? Yeah, stamina. Yeah. There's a chicken! Not bad. Not bad. I have medical pills. Lovely. Thank you. And there's R1 and up. Oh, it's a strange weapon. Let's switch to Katana. Well, you can't even there. Oh! Yeah, movement looks fun in this game, from what I've seen so far. The martial skills. Hold R1 and then press either square or triangle. Okay? That uses chi. Right. That's Rima up, shall we? Ooh, that was a bit cheeky. Oh, that stamina. There we go. Nice. And impress. Triangle. To deal some damage. My stamina is pretty low as well. Very strong. This way. Stubborn as well. Oh, so this is all practice right now. We're using wooden swords, but soon that will change. run what's this veiled edge banner interacting with a veiled edge banner will restore your health as well as your medicinal pills and projectiles just be warned that it will come also cause a defeated enemies to re to reappear really just be warned it will also cause defeated enemies to reappear i swear i read a preview where that that doesn't happen anyway when you run out of health or restart the game You'll return to the last Veiled Edge banner that you interacted with, or else the last checkpoint you passed. Okay, thank you. I I swear I was, I was watching a preview. They said that doesn't happen. The, the enemies don't come back. I must be I must be wrong. Okay. I have a feeling this might be a tough fight. <laughs> Wish me luck. Time to begin. I recognise you. Using that cutscene a second ago. And show me all you've learned. Okay, let's do that. I'll get the better of you this. So, using a counter spark to deflect and neutralize enemies. Counter spark by pressing triangle. Deflecting attacks with counter sparks will cause enemies to become temporarily panicked, opening a window of opportunity for you to deal major damage. An enemy panic status is indicated by the red gauge. Okay. So let's have a look how this works. So you've got to time it perfectly. All right. Let's try and do this. I'm ready. Well played. Thank you. I'm on fire. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Get too cocky. I will. We doing it again? Still like a sort of chain. Oh, you can keep chaining it. Pack 
powerful. Very powerful. The best way to drain an enemy's key is to first reduce their maximum key. Okay, panic enemies with the counter sparks and then attack to significantly reduce their maximum key, making it easier for you to fully deplete their key. In such a situation, the use of a martial skill will prove more effective than normal attacks. Okay. Try I it. know your every move. You'll have to do better. So, a critical hit when the enemy starts has been broken. A fully deplete your enemy's chi to break their starts. Once the enemy has been incapacitated and the lock-on icon has turned red, you will be able to execute with a critical hat critical hit capable of dealing major damage. What are you doing? There we go, finish them off. You I picked them up as well. We going again? All right. Ugh. Yes. You did well. I did. Next, you will fight me. Uh oh. I will face the both of you. Both. Stay sharp. Damn it. <laughs> She's good. when you uh, go to counter. In the veil end, two of one. Show me how well you've been fooled. Nice. Oh, like oh what we got here? Switching control, what? You can switch control between the Vowed Edge members. What? Really? That's cheeky. That's not fair, is it? It looks like you're getting somewhere. There we go. Working together is the only path to success. We have time. Right, switch. <laughs> She's useless. I'm joking. And that is hard to time. I felt like almost too easy before. Now look at me. Oh, she's down. The combat is fun, though. Here, my training That's is done. Enough training for now. Okay, getting us a swing of it there. It takes a little bit going, used to, I'm but assigning you a new mission. The black ships from America are anchored off the coast at Yokohama. Sneak aboard and steal the secret message in Commodore Perry's possession. And. If the opportunity arises, kill Perry. Understood? Understood. Um, what is the secret message? Please tell me. You dare question your master. Uh oh. Well, if you insist. <laughs> the Shogunate has made a deal with the Americans. That is reason enough for us to strike. This is the day our clan has long prepared for, when we finally go to war with the Tokugawa. This is an order. Failure is not an option. Are you ready to head for the black ships? I believe I am, yes. Good. I know you will not let me down. Now move. Not sure I'm overly confident right now, but I will try my best. That is all I can do. Really, you 
the boat here. I honestly had no idea this was a thing where you slept the Let's cartridge begin. as well. Touch the banner. Resume the mission. Equipment. Good to go. Is it worth me diving? Can we do a stealth attack on these guys? Fucking okay, target them. Make them easier to take down. Okay. I'll do it. Come up to underwater and approach the enemy without being noticed. Yep, that's well done. Yes! <laughs> Two of us are one. Don't forget this. Oh, this is cool. This is very cool. Oh boy, am I about to be attacked? Different types of enemies can be identified by different overhead icons. We've got normal enemies and formidable enemies. Some formidable foes function as leaders of the enemy group. Um, after you've taken out the leader of the enemy group, they will no longer reappear. Ah, so the leaders won't go. But the normal enemies. Okay, got it. Bring it on. Uh oh. Prepare yourself. So this leader will be gone. Oh my! Wow. That was um unexpected. <laughs> if you guys missed that, go back and watch what happened. Thank you very much. Um, so will this give me my health back as well? So will that other guy come back? Is that we just killed? No. So is the formidable enemies will, when they're dead, they're dead. So this is not like a, a Dark Souls-esque. I don't think it is anyway. All right, let's go down here. Oh man, the way you mounted that ladder. You're cool. I believe we can, we can crouch here. Crouchy, crouchy. Right, lightly, lightly tilt it, and then press triangle to assassinate. Approach from the back. Take it slow. Okay, blade twin. Oh wow, we both just. All right. the practice has paid off. I'm not sure I'm happy with the the blade twin's voice. <laughs> we'll ignore that. Whoops. I don't think we can change it either. One thing I forgot. Child's play. I don't know why there's so many games releasing in March. Oh, oh that's um, okay. Great. Deflecting enemy gunfire and other attacks can be well-timed counter sparks. Okay. Will temporarily set your weapon ablaze. Great. Attacking enemies in this state will cause them to burn. All right. Let's do it. You've really got time, haven't you? Damn it. It's burns, baby. This way. I've got a rifle. 
What? They're very, very noisy, but again, they would do damage. Looks pretty busy. Is there another way? So if I want to switch... Ah, there we go. There is another way. Damn. Live and kick him. Damn it. Are you on a sword now, do you? Alright. It's hard to time that. I don't know what the man's gonna do. Ugh. Right, down here, I guess. Be very careful about my health. Someone around? Yep. There is someone around. It's very, it's definitely it's a very defin a de a definitive kill, isn't it? Um, like, he's not messing around. <laughs> it's full, like, okay. He dead. He, he dead dead. If you get what I mean. Some Alexia and some, some pills as well. Medicinal pills. There was a ladder going down here, which I'm interested about. Yeah, trying to get time the counter and not knowing fully what that attack's going to be it can be a little bit tricky. Um, again, I'm only literally to start the game, so. Prepare yourself. Sweet. Any more down here? We haven't been down here before, have we? Or am I? Tripping. Ooh, there's a chest here. Don't mind if I do. Try to cut it open. <laughs> American Rifle Mark II. Got some rifle ammo as well. So, that'd be under my equipment. We might be able to. I don't see it. Oh. I'm hoping that's now equipped. Does a bit more damage. I don't know which one's which. No idea. What's supposed to be down here? Kaboom! Didn't help it. Woohoo! Spicy! Guys on fire. One sec. I can use the grappling hook. What? Well, I didn't know that. Ah, leave me alone. My health's pretty low. Should have held it earlier. Is... <gasps> they are no match for the veiled edge. Ah, oh, black ship holder key. You get it? Might be useful. Maybe we had to come down here. Maybe. So I can grab these. <laughs> okay, sweet. I like it. You have a feeling we we're supposed to come down here. Where's the ladder I had? Went down earlier. Is it here? 
yeah, I mean, the combat is definitely fun. Again, if, again, if you're like really like obsessed with graphics, then maybe this isn't quite the prettiest game in the world. Is that is that why we play video games? I, that's, I mean, that's up for you to decide, I guess. So that's personal preference. Ooh. So that's what we're looking for. It's not quite what we're looking for, but it's a key. Very close. This country will open up at long last. What the hell? I can hear a voice. I think this might be the first boss. Ooh. So I've got a heating elixir as well, which I've now equipped. Um, so that is left on the D-pad. Consume and restore health and deplete a key. Sounds good. All right. Should we go upstairs? Up well, the ladder at least. Wish me luck. I don't have a good feeling about this. He looks relatively important. I believe this guy is actually does actually feature around this this period in time. Basically, he's a real person. Japan, the great white whale that's eluded all others. But my vision is clear, and my harpoon ready. Huh? <laughs> Well, that's just cheating. All right. I will not die till I've netted this whale. Matthew Perry. Watch out! I pressed it at the right moment. That was my plan. Just hide there. I wanna go. Whoa, he's angry. Do a quick little heal. Yep. Kill me, and you're all done. Why? Damn it! Should have blocked that. What am I doing? What's he doing now? It does. Come on, he's almost dead, surely. Yes, come on. No gun. What? I'm afraid I can't let you kill him. Where'd he go? What? I'm dead. I did not see that coming. So, am I supposed to die here? I'm supposed to die. <laughs> so, what does happen there? Two of you. The veil edge. So, you actually exist. Rumor is a veil edge will sacrifice their partner for duty. So, which of you will do the deed? What? Oh. Oh. as well. A veiled edge without a partner. 
truly a pitiful sight. Oh boy, I think I know who's going to be the final villain. The ending boss. Man, I'm going to kill you. That was the only trace that remained. I guess this is why I didn't realise there was a partnership, because the partnership ends pretty abruptly. Let's put it bluntly. Very abruptly. Abruptly. What has happened here then? Hello. Shurikens. Ready to be thrown? Doesn't do much damage. <laughs> Annoyingly. And the waiting game. So they were normal um, enemies, I'm guessing. So if I went back to the banner, they would come back, right? That is my guess. Hello. Hello. You want some as well? You want some? You want some? <laughs> Did not see that coming. <laughs> Diddly done done. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm guessing they've found where we live. And they come to finish us off. Lovely. Charming. Definitely reminds me of, um, is it Shiriko? How you say it? That Dark Souls game. There's definitely a lot of similarities for sure. What was that? Ah. Additional pills. Lovely. I love the run. I'm gonna find who started this fire and I will shove it up their bottom. Yes, I am currently trying to walk. Fire snake at me from behind. Oh, there you are. You've got a bow, have you? I can counter that. You are now headless. I'm afraid. I'm sure there's no help around here. Well, I definitely didn't die there. There's a guy there. Can I sneak up on him? Nice. Last time he spotted me and killed me. Embarrassing. You want some? How long did that guy want to start up his attack? Unbelievable. Like just holding his blade out. I'm trying to grab him. What's he got on him? To defy the Shogun, your clan is doomed. Shut up! Did I ask you to speak? No, I did not. You want to grab her up here. That 
is a cool way to get around. Is there someone in there? Did he spot me? I think he's facing this way, isn't he? Yeah, that's annoying. Can I go up here? Ooh. You saw nothing. Well, the uh, assassination gameplay is pretty fun. The stealth gameplay. Even. There's a guy in here. Oh, he definitely heard me. <laughs> There's a couple. No! That's annoying. There's a wolf. There's a wolf. I can't even see my character. What? I have to heal once there, annoying me. I could have played that stealthily as well. That's how annoying that is. I do find, like, Souls games, I'd get frustrated quite easily. I'm not the sort of person that loves to sort of play uh, situations over and over again. It's just I, just, I just don't like it. I just don't enjoy it. I can't help it. I've tried to correct myself in that sense. Like, enjoy the, the challenge of competing against these strong enemies and getting through them. I just, I just, I can't do it. I feel like I would be good enough to do it. I just do not have the patience. Do not have the patience to do it. And it's something that I should definitely try and correct. Because I know these, soul, these Souls games are very, very good. But I just... Yeah. I get uh, further away through. I just, I just I can't be dealing with doing a boss 50 times. Good timing. I need your help. Well, that's why I'm here. Absolutely. Shoot your leg off. That is more. No end to them. What? This is the love of any who dare to resist them. No. Now it's happening. Ah, love with me. What are you? I got. Just attack me. If you're gonna attack me, just attack me. Don't toy with me. There we go. Don't take the Mickey out of me. Just attack me. Where's the his head? That might be it. Woo! Okay, I'm ready to heal. Where does the attack come from? Just as I suspected. You mean to abandon the clan and search for them? They are still alive. I have to. Have you forgotten the code? Oh boy, I was not even looking at the screen then. Oh, I was looking at it was a cutscene. All right, great. Okay, so I've only got myself to blame there. Oh, I'm almost dead, lovely. Best start. Have you got the master is? 
Nope, I have not forgot. You didn't see far away. I did not train you to hesitate. Oh wait. I got me. I got me? I don't even know. I have to watch that back. What is that attack, man? What even is that attack? I hate the ones that just charge for like 10 hours. I'm supposed to apparently read it and encounter it. It's just... <laughs> I don't have I fell over there. Whatever I got here. Definitely should have got here. Can't be dead. I'm halfway. Come on. How will you fight with your wings? Show me all you've got. This isn't. Not bad. Oh, of course you can do that in the middle of my counter, my little spree of attacks. Of course you can. Close. Yes. Get in there, woman. I can leave if I want. I'm my own person. Why is he feeling sorry for her? She attacked you! Can't finish the job. You always were soft. You've been the same ever since I took you in. Since I lost my blade twin, I've had to live with the pain of surviving. Go! Succeed where I have failed. That's how she felt. Why didn't she let him go? in the nest Yokoyama 1858 that is cool that is very cool what is that can I chop down this tree apparently I can uh, you've obtained a material 
Use materials at the apothecaries to craft remedies, stones, and other stat and status altering items. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the info. I think I'm going to pause it there. Um, I, I'm not 100% the game is complete for me. Again, I'm not massively into this sort of uh, Dark Souls-esque sort of combat and game. Of course, um, if you guys want me to do more, I would 100% be down. But we may just end it here for the time being. We'll see. Part one may blow up. People might want to see more. And I'll definitely, definitely be up for doing more. Love the, the premise of the story. I think the whole like environment is awesome. I assume the combat is going to take a little bit of time to get used to. I'm going to have to like try and cool myself down and just concentrate and just don't panic if I die. Just go again and go again and go again. We'll see. Right, so I think I'm going to pause it here for now. Uh, let me know if you guys would like me to do a part, part two. For now, we're going to pull it to one side though. Again, if part one does well, I would 100% be willing to come back. There's some really cool elements for this game. Love the story. Love the environment. Love the setting of being in Japan during this period. And we're about to go to Yokoyama, which is just... I can't wait to go and see that if we if we end up doing a part two. Thank you guys for watching. Though. Again, thanks to PlayStation for the review code. Potentially we're back for part two. But for now, we sort of leave it on hold. I hope that sort of makes sense. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.